Do you guys sing happy birthday? If you're like at, you know, it's your your father-in-law's birthday and everyone's yeah, singing happy birthday. Not sing a lot along. of energy, you know. If, yeah. if people start singing it, I'm not going to not sing it. Dude, I'm going to be honest with you. I keep my mouth closed. Well, yeah, let me know who you are. I'm a bad singer. And I'm not thinking I'm going to ruin happy birthday, but I just don't want to, like, embarrass myself. Well, there's enough people. They won't hear you sing. Nah, it's like six people. <laughs> All right, then, yeah, they would hear you sing. For Plus, I stand out because for they, the national anthem. this is no joke, but, like, there's always, you know, my extended family is all Korean. There's always, like, a weird little, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. And then the third line is a clusterfuck. Nobody oh. knows who's going to say what. Happy birthday. <laughs> and then you're like, do you say the dude's Korean name, which I don't even know. You say his English name. Do you say dad? Like, and then it just everyone just sort of goes, happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday to you. And then somebody well, keeps going. And How old? No. It's over. <laughs> if you don't sing the song, the age increase doesn't stick, right? Mm. So, like, you got to make sure the song gets in there. Or they're not going to die when they're supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys want to fight anyone who tries to continue going like, and many more? Yeah. 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 I was like, it's not your birthday. Shut up. <laughs> you're making this about you. <laughs> yes, you're making it about you. Go away. And then what you do is you force me to do that awkward chuckle where I have to validate <laughs> that you've done that. Yeah. yeah. And it's, it's, it's very frustrating. I don't want to do that awkward chuckle. Well, you're making me do that awkward chuckle. I don't think this is really a hot take. But if you guys ever and now like there's actually a reason for you to sing happy birthday if you ever see me on my birthday because you know it'll annoy me and I'll know <laughs> that you'll know that it's annoying me so I'll laugh because that's a great bit. But apart from that, if we're in a more mundane and humor inert situation, mm -hmm. never has happy birthday ever made my birthday any happier than it was prior to the singing of the song. <laughs> I just don't care. Can... I'd rather just talk for another 25 seconds. You don't need. To sing the song. I've heard it a thousand times. You're already here. You've done the gesture of showing up to okay. pay respects for my birthday. So you don't need to sing the song. What I know now is if I ever do have this situation come up, I need to rehearse it with people and, and do like a barbershop quartet version with <laughs> harmonies. And then you'll respect it. Yeah, probably. I yeah, bet he would. I it can is, pull it off. It is also awkward, because what do you do while the people are singing happy birthday? You're just supposed to, like, oh. kind of gaze into the middle distance and smile. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, this is a happy smile birthday. Smile yeah. yeah. Look at the candles and watch your retinas burn out. <laughs> do you guys... Now, I hate the fucking birthday things that people do at restaurants. Oh, yeah. I explicitly ask people not to tell the servers that it's my birthday, because I don't want to have that shit happen. Oh, you know, do don't take this the wrong way, but one way to avoid that is to not go out to eat at, like, a fast, casual chain restaurant well, no as way. an adult on your birthday. <laughs> I, The last time it happened, the last time I, I literally asked not to do it was at a, uh, it was at a fucking, what are they called, hibachi place. Mm. Mm. Which isn't, isn't casual, it's not cheap. Well, I mean, it's still probably fits in that category i'm pretty sure if you're at like a gordon ramsay restaurant you know they don't yeah. happy birthday <laughs> <laughs> i uh so speaking of fast casual restaurants fast uh, casual fast cash you will um, have the cob salad <laughs> so uh don't me, me and jess are planning a day where we watch a movie and then go eat and then watch another movie because it's five dollar tickets on Tuesdays. Mm. Um, so we were planning on going to Outback Steakhouse. Sure, yeah. Because it's like literally, it's like a, it's like a couple. You of don't feet have away. to justify yourself. Oh, you gotta have a blooming well, onion. I'm actually well, actually, yes, absolutely. <laughs> but I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> but I was I was curious because I haven't been there in a long time. Do they like? Do they cook steaks all right there? Like, is it? A thing? Try the surf into us. <laughs> They're fine. Like, yeah. I mean, it, it's one of those where things like where like, if it's a shitty cook, then they, you won't get a good steak. But if they just have like an average cook, it'll be fine. Yeah, they got a yeah. superstar, a celebrity <laughs> chef in the back. <laughs> You're in for a treat. I mean, even if they have like, if they could just, if they just cook it like to my dumbness that I have stated, which is honestly kind of rare, uh, in both ways. But, uh, you know, I, I just that's all I'm asking. Because I'm thinking about getting a steak, but I'm not sure. Like, don't get a steak, though. 
Yeah. Get a blooming onion. That's well, an appetizer. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting the blooming onions. You don't know what, Wait, that's, that. what's the other one they have that's really good? It's like fucking a mountain of like cheese fries or some shit. That's good. Mm. Oh, you mean the croc shock, mate? <laughs> <laughs> How many candles is appropriate to put on someone's birthday cake after you're over 25? Mm, that's how you just get the big thick numbers. Yeah, one, one candle with the number. <laughs> oh, that is a good solution. Nah, dude, fuck that. If somebody throws me a birthday party when I'm like 87, if I make yeah, it Yeah, they light the fucking house on fire. Yeah, have you ever seen an 80-year-old exactly. try to use a can opener? You're gonna trust them in front of 80 things that are on fire? <laughs> they better, they, my family at that point, if I make it to 87, they're gonna sit there for hours while I try to blow out 87 candles. You're gonna be like that and old lady who like has to blow out her candles and her teeth shoot out onto the cake. <laughs> it's gonna start the fire alarm and then it's gonna pour sprinkler water on your cake. Dude, the fire alarm goes off in my house if the doors open in on summer. It's ridiculous. It's like, <laughs> what oh the summer God. heat There's sets off the fire the alarm? I, I'm exaggerating a little bit. Oh, okay. Because like, oh, no, yeah, okay, yeah. that was going to be a great saying, yeah, bit. You, <laughs> you should get a new fire alarm after that. Honestly. But no, like anytime you cook anything, anytime the stove's on, for sure, mm -hmm. it's going to go off. What's the cutoff reasonably of putting individual candles, do you think? 20? Oh, I think like yeah. 18. I think when you're an adult, yeah. you should just be like, I'm not going to make them buy 19 candles. I think it's 16 because they made a movie out of that one. So, like, that's that makes, you should get your that's responsibility true. in. They never no, made a 17 wait. candles. What about the family that buys the number one for a one year old? Like, what, <laughs> oh. what's, what does that say? Is that extra effort or less effort? Can I also say that, then look. I, I realize I'm just saying it's if someone gives me a cake for my birthday, that's great. Thank you. That's that's wonderful. You know, if I, especially if, you know, I'm surprised. That's awesome. But I kind of don't really want a cake like, unless it's like some fucking crazy weird cake. Yeah, I've had enough wish. cake in my life. You know, like I don't need a birthday cake. If you're gonna get me anything food related, get me like a big can of fucking beef jerky or something. Dude, I'm 100 like, percent yeah. with you. Get me some right? coffee. That's a rare treat. Or like a scotch yeah. or some something like that. Some fuck coffee. What actually is wrong with you? I don't want because you know how many like grocery <laughs> know, store cakes I've had that are like, dude, that's a gift for an adult. Is like, hey, here's a pound <laughs> of like <laughs> coffee beans. I'd be so much happier to get that than to I'm get. I'm into it. Yeah. The point of the cake, though, is that everyone gets a piece. You're sharing on your birthday. You can have some beef jerky. They're yeah, I say a pile <laughs> oh, yeah, of beef let's jerky. have a birthday party for Ryan at 9 p.m. Everyone gets coffee. It's great. <laughs> it's a rare treat to get a bag of beef jerky. So imagine the luxury that goes that's into more purchasing such yeah. a large mm -hmm. number of pieces that I'm of fine it. with. This fucking coffee's out of control, dude. Thanks, Chad. Let's go to Starbucks. <laughs> I'm glad somebody's got my back. <laughs> if I come out and I just have nothing, and then I put reach into my pocket and I just blow pocket coffee into your face. See, coffee that would be... after dinner is nice. When do you sleep? Coffee. Huh? This is pissing me off because I sleep way better than you do, motherfucker. <laughs> and I routine. If I'm going out for a nice dinner and if they're like, "Oh, what do you have for dessert?" I'll get an espresso or something like that. That's me too. unbelievable. They ask you. They come around and go, "Would you, any coffee or tea?" They don't do it because they know I'm there. That's just a thing that's done. Yeah, they do do that. Yeah, I, I agree. I do enjoy a coffee with some... some... I eat my ass! <laughs> Goes well with dessert. I always like to have a coffee with my ass. It's, uh... <laughs> the diner gave me free cake the other day. I was very happy Dude, with that. Dude, that's like... Like, you live in a part of America that I didn't think existed anymore. Where well, they just I... give you free things at a restaurant? <laughs> I want to qualify. I don't think it had anything to do with me specifically. It was that they had a cake they were about to throw out, and they were like, hey, let's give these away. Just like good PR, right? Everybody likes chocolate cake. Here, they would throw it out in front of you. They might ask you to take <laughs> out the bag to the dumpster. All right, well, it's still I love that good. click. It was so satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> I just want... Nice gesture. I, 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 like I said earlier, I just want a Tres Leches cake, dude. That's If you're getting a cake for me, Those are find good. me one of them. Like, I don't, three mind, I don't mind a cake, but I've had so many just, like, the, the bad grocery store cake is, like, the worst of all desserts. It's, like, yeah. it doesn't taste that good. And it's, it's, it's better to just make a shitty one in yeah, your house. It's, yeah, I it's, prefer that. It's honestly. terrible for you. It doesn't taste that good. And you're only eating it because, you know, if you don't eat it, people are going to be like, hey, what, you don't want a slice? And then, you know, you got to have this conversation. You want a diet? No, I just don't really like 
like this shitty cake that much. <laughs> I just don't think it's worth it. I'll go home and I eat don't like think some you cheese. Love me enough based on the cake voice, to be honest with you. Uno mas dos equis mm. tres leche. Mm. Cuatro cinco mm. cinco seis. Mm. If you want. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> um, yeah. So give me some beef jerky. That's all I'm saying. Dude, absolutely. What kind of flavor? I'll take any flavor. Beef, like a teriyaki, yeah. honey, some kind of. Oh, I gotta take you to. You gotta come down here. We gotta go, Bucky's, Rob. You lose. I would life. love it. I've seen the pictures. Oh, hey, thank yeah. you. It's literally <laughs> a, a buffet jerky. of jerky. <laughs> I I know. I've seen. Uh, you showed me pictures of that. It's crazy. They have this store in Texas. Oh, she's also opening my beef jerky for me. Um, they have this <laughs> store in Texas where it's just like a supermarket of beef jerky, and I'm in. Well, it's, it's all a, kinds of jerky too, right? It's a it's just, it's a gas station for it's, it's, it's a literally, gas station. It's a gas station. <laughs> They have alligator jerky there, I think. They have a fucked. It's just like a store. They have little tiny like restaurant sections, and then also a jerky section, and all sorts of stuff. Do they have water buffalo. What? Jerky. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I, I don't try different that. meats. 